I couldn't help but check out Stuttering John last night. He's doing his show. And uh, he was doing one of these shows, my favorite style of John show. It's a little performative. I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff. He really thinks he's hilarious. <laughs> you know, when he does the faces and he yeah. overacts. Look, I have some examples of him overacting and fucking it up. Looking which is good. Funny. The new hair <laughs> yeah. dye. Looking great. Dude, that hairstyle. <laughs> I told you. EDR messaged me. He's like, what's going on with John's hair? I, he All he had to do was wait like <laughs> two more months. He was so close to having like the biker hair and the beard and looking like Captain Caveman. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know why he just... He just... <laughs> Captain Caveman, that's some look to go <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying. But, but like when you show those clips of him with the, the yeah, beard yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, like, right. the hair that was almost there versus now where he just looks like a... Whatever. Yeah, he got um, bullied into cutting his hair. Yeah, yeah. He looks like uh, <laughs> That's true. Yeah. He looks like uh, Pillsbury dough squeezed out of that tube with yeah. a fucking brown wig on it. Well, the the hair dye itself, and he's doing this in low res now, which is annoying. I liked it when we could actually see what it was doing a little bit better. It's <laughs> funny to make fun of. He's on to us. Yeah, he's on to us. So he's doing it low res now. But his hair dye is so bad. He says he went to supercuts. And John's such a liar. That Supercuts is obviously the why, the thing that he can't afford. He's like, I, I wish I went <laughs> I to Supercuts. So you know we went to CVS, and I was texting with EDR about this. <laughs> Sir, you can't cut your hair in the aisles. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, it's not even just for men. It's like some generic CVS version. <laughs> they can't even afford. Just for losers? <laughs> yeah, you can't even afford the, the name brand version of. <laughs> At home hair dye, which is so pathetic. <laughs> and he does a terrible job of it. It just looks terrible. But uh, this is hilarious. This is the way the show starts off. He's talking about the fact that his house in Florida, which he hasn't talked much about. He hasn't been there in a quarter. Hmm. It's been over a quarter since he's been there. And so he doesn't talk about it very much. But apparently he's got a buddy who watches over his house. Mm. I've, n- I've not heard about this before. Maybe he's talked about it. I haven't caught this. Because he made fun of me for having a management company that manages my house. Because when you have a house and you don't live there, it's good to have people to maintain it. Well. I know. Go figure. So apparently, John has a guy who helps him with his place. (laughs) (laughs) That guy? (laughs) No. No, this is him talking talking to me directly, of course. That's why I left that part. He did the why do they podcast thing. But here we go. I got a buddy. And, you know. That's how I know he's lying. Uh, every time he says this, with, I got a buddy. I'm like, well, here comes a lie. Let's yeah. see. Let's see what he's about to say. Here. His name's um, <laughs> Buddy. Yeah. Let's just call him Buddy. Oh, and this Kai is incognito. This is great. This is so. I'll, I'll use the word retarded. His stutter comes back, and that's how you know he's lying. When he starts stuttering, he's trying to make something up, and he's not good at making things up. He's a bad liar. If he stutters, says my buddy, and scratches his face. <laughs> yes, I know. It's everything. <laughs> all, of the, all the towels. Who watches over my house. And his brother-in-law, Norbert, you know, they are in a motorcycle club. And he happened to see. <laughs> They're in a gang. All right. Well, I'm already shaking. <laughs> your show. And he said to me, because, you know, I lent him my motorcycle when it, his was in the shop. And he's like, he's like, John, who is this fucking guy talking this shit about you? And I'm like, oh, it's fucking some fucking douchebag and shithole fucking poverty stricken rock chestnut. Also, the F words, too. There's another towel yeah. that he's making this up as he goes. And then he's fucking like, and then I'm fucking like, oh, fucking, you know, fucking this fucking, you know, fuck. That's a way to buy he time. Goes, placeholder yeah. for the truth. I, I find out about sword. I go, I go, Norbert, he, he, he owns a house a mile away from me. He's like, you're kidding me. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so I says to Maple, I said, yeah. holy shit, this conversation is insane. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yada, yada, yada. Yada, 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 I blew him. <laughs> And, and, and I, you know, he, he didn't make any threats, but all I know is I would not want to be fucking, you know, this guy was fucking pissed, really pissed, especially I, since I've, I've been so nice to him. 
That's all he wants is someone to be pissed on his behalf. Yeah. That's this is wants. insane. This is basically a stranger. It's a guy you know's brother-in-law, and he borrowed your motorcycle for some reason. And he's in outraged. The shop, <laughs> yeah. And he saw a video online, and he's outraged. And he's like, I'm not saying he's going to kick Carl's ass. He's going to kick Carl's ass is basically what he was implying there. So then later on, you know, the Super Chatters have my back. I appreciate that from the Super Chatters. Carl would kick the shit out of your bike in front of You guys are funny. Lady K? Lady K can't shit the fit. Can't kick the shit out of nobody. Anybody. Sorry, dumb one. I get him. <laughs> this is another thing that's been happening to him. He's trying to be performative, John, and like, oh, I'm doing this thing. And they're just like, oh, shit, I got to watch my grammar because I call everyone out <laughs> all the time. Double negative. It's okay, John. We're going to let that slide. Yeah, go with it. It's man. fine. <laughs> I do like shit the fit, though. I, yeah, shit. shit the fit. I mean, that's where I just lost all respect for him because he did <laughs> double negative. Now I think he's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking with me? Goop, goop, goop. Believe me, he don't want to run into me. Now I'm going to do it, but he, he, he better look the other way. He's doing this again. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> it would not be a good thing. That was like cartoonish. And guess what? I'm going. That was like a Barney Gumble. His eyes went weird. And... Yeah. He winked while burping. Yeah. <laughs> it was impressive. Can you rewind it? Yeah, he really, he really is Barney <laughs> at this point. By the way, my well, show's that's... just drunk talk. Sweet, beautiful <laughs> drunk talk. Can I point out, my show should just be me doing this. Just <laughs> yeah. scrolling through and watching all John's dumb <laughs> like face. And I will rap to it. <laughs> I like orange <laughs> juice, but he 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 better look the other way. Uh. <laughs> he looks see like the bubbles coming yeah. out. Yeah, it's in uh, it the, the Forio in uh, uh, Men in Black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he's yeah. doing. Oh yeah, <laughs> the bug guy. or Otis from the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> yeah. He just walks into the police station and <laughs> locks himself up because he's so hammered. If only he was that smart. If only Dana Carvey was here to get that reference. I know, talking about old <laughs> references. <laughs> it would not. Oh, I just pointed out to Andy that was a callback from earlier. That'd be a good thing. <laughs> and guess what? I'm going to Hackmania. I'm going. And we're going to talk about that. I'll see you there, dickhead. Because Fatty Patty. Yeah. You're in my crosshairs. Okay. Vegas says you're not going. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> I have some money Odds on are. Yeah. <laughs> John, no one's intimidated by you. Yeah. I don't understand this thing where he thinks he's going to intimidate us. I'm going to be in Vegas. Right. Fine. It's great. Come to Vegas, it's a huge John. huge city. Well, come to our event. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be us and all of our friends. Yeah. None of us like you. What are you going to do? What do you think you're going to do? If you thought I was tough in Atlantic City. <laughs> I did. Wait till you see <laughs> Vegas, John. I didn't think you were tough in Atlantic City. This is oh, so weird. I wasn't expecting it. I'm going to tell on you guys to all the security guards right. this time. <laughs> yeah, th th he's going to tell the Vegas security that we're talking about as kids, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get into more of this because there's a lot of tough guy John in this episode. Yeah. In John's mind... Telling someone, let's go outside, is the same as kicking their ass. Mm -hmm. So he's definitely convinced himself that he beat everyone up in Atlantic City. <laughs> and he's, he's still waiting for more. Let's keep them coming, assholes. It's so insane. We all saw the size difference between him and Patrick Michael. This would not be a fair fight. This would not be, <laughs> you know, speaking of Vegas, this would not be a sanctioned event yeah, yeah. at the MGM. <laughs> They're not having this happen. This is a mismatch, is what you would call that. So don't even try it. But... John just said that uh, this guy, this biker guy in Florida doesn't like me and he can kick my ass. And then fast forward 20 minutes and John starts calling out his buddy in the biker gang. In fact, even my friend in Florida goofs on my bike because I don't have the fucking loud fucking side pipes, which I think is a, like just a penis. Like, you know, you're trying to, you know, um, overcompensate for a tiny penis. I, <laughs> what's, the, what's this guy going to say when he sees this video? Yeah. Wait a second. Now you're talking shit about me. I was mad because that guy was talking shit about you. Now you're saying I have a small dick? What the fuck? It's kind of weird, right? 
He can't help himself. I remember I was on a date with a oh a girl. And okay, here this we is go. great. This yes, here we go. Indeed. In fact, I'm gonna bring Cardiff in for this. We'll see <laughs> yeah. if uh, Cardiff has any analysis. What's up, buddy? Hello, hello. Hey. All right. Ooh, somebody uh, got a haircut for Flo for Florida. I sure did. <laughs> I chopped off the uh, frosted tips because I was told I could unfrost them, and that did not work. It was still very blonde. So we're, <laughs> yeah. just, we're just cutting it off. You refrosted them. <laughs> we're just cutting it the fuck off. That's all we're doing. All right. So this is hilarious because we were talking about earlier John's towels when he's lying. So he's going to talk about this date he went on. The stuttering and stammering that happens during this is hysterical. I, oh, I, by I, the way, he I has talked about his friend before. Sorry. The, the he friend has talked about the guy. Yeah, that's the guy who's running his trickle charger for him. Oh, he's manning okay. the trickle charger in Florida. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. This is a very important part of John's uh, empire down in Florida that he's got going. I, like I, uh, I remember I was on a date with a a girl and uh -huh. yeah that's pretty hot man why and you know and i heard a bike that was leaving or a car it had to be i go look you know uh, you know a lot of these guys the bikes with those loud fucking with those loud mufflers or whatever uh, not mufflers <laughs> yeah the opposite of a muffler <laughs> uh, on mufflers you know those silencers that make your gun <laughs> way louder <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots I go, they're overcompensating for a tiny piece. See, I, see, I don't need that. I, you know, I, you know. So this is hilarious because he just said the reason why these bikers have the, the their the engines are so loud because mm -hmm. they're overcompensating. He's like, it reminds me of the time I was on this date and we heard one of those motorcycles. And I was telling my date the same thing I just told you. I like, made up. Yeah, this is not an addict though. Yeah. yeah, this is not. This is no, something. It's, re it's reinforcement. You're not adding to the story at all. You made that up to make yourself look cool in front of a woman. Yeah. Instead of the real reason that they want people to know that they're there so they don't get changed lanes into and killed. Well, th that's part of it, Andy. But, but I, I told it twice, <laughs> so I'm bigger. Thing, so. <laughs> all right. So this is so embarrassing right here because John's going back and watching himself on the Howard Stern show. And I get it. He's retired from the entertainment world. He had a career. He's going back and reliving the glory days. Please play but, the drop. But keep it to yourself. Yeah, I know. Just keep it to yourself, John. He should, he should really just Remember? embrace the drop and start every episode of that with the glory days. He right? could. He could. Why, this why is what not? He's, this is what he's doing right here. Yeah. Then we told Vince McMahon wrestling was fake. Yeah, I just watched that. I've been loose asshole is doing the Lord's work. And look, look, for me, it's something cool because I get to see shit that I haven't seen. Well, I, I probably never watched it. It's the first time I'm watching this shit. You know why Pee Wee Herman's cool? He doesn't watch his own movie because he was there, Dottie. He yeah. lived it. This fucking asshole has to go back like, yeah, of course I'm going to watch it. I don't even remember seeing this the first time. <laughs> look at how amazing I am. You know, it's kind of cool going back in time and watching a younger stuttering John. Because the present sucks. On the world's greatest radio show. <laughs> right. And Carl. Killing it. Yeah, it's kind of. So he's saying he's he's really never gone back and watched these. Didn't he do a stand-up tour with a videotape of all his bits from yes. Stern this and is all played he them does. for the audience? This is all he does is rewatch this shit. Now he's pretending for the first time ever. I decided to see if I was good on the Howard Stern show, and turns out I was. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I love it. Of course you do. Yeah, of course you do. I just want to point out, too, that every clip that I pulled ends with him chugging his beer. Not because I'm like, this is the ending point. Just like he chugs his beer after every sentence. So it's impossible period. not to. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, yeah. that's his end scene. It's easy to edit around. So this is the tweet that someone posted this on Dabbler's Anonymous. It looks real. But back uh, October of 2016, the Howard Stern Show, Ed Stern Show, tweeted out, hashtag whackpacker, hashtag stuttering John had every interview and bit written for him and never wrote anything for the Stern show. <laughs> so this was back when John was bragging about how great he was and how much he meant to the show. 
And it looks like someone who was controlling the social media of the Howard Stern show was just like, fuck this asshole. Let's just put him in his place real quick. Amazing. I think around the time of the book, too. Yep, around the time of the book. Uh, you know, this, this whole thing where he lost the Tonight Show, and so he had to go back and talk about how much he contributed to the, uh, the Howard Stern show. And they're just like, no, not really. We didn't miss a beat. That's the thing about, I listened to the Howard Stern show, and when John left, it got better. Yeah. It literally got better. Because Richard and Sal are on the show now. They go to, over to Sirius. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. The best era of the Howard Stern show is after John left. But he'll never understand that, obviously. He's great. This is hilarious because... Did you have a follow-up for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is great because um, John realizes mid-sentence that what he's saying, hey, we've already talked about recently on this show like this is the, the most recent video you'll find of WTP talking about centering john was from about a week ago and this is what we were analyzing was this specifically i love how you guys like want me to be dead <laughs> I, I i never wished death on anybody uh what <laughs> <laughs> and see below uh, now i just i wasn't being serious about karma oh you know i mean i think I think the universe does take care of it. But your arm doesn't have to do with karma. Just like Pockies doesn't have to do with karma. But I'm just saying, because I know I was saying all that, and obviously I I can't, you know, I'm not the puppet master when it comes to karma. You're not the puppet master for your own life, John. <laughs> Other people control your life for you. I sent you a puppet, and you can't operate it. <laughs> but it is... It is strange when it does happen, but then again, what life doesn't have ups and downs? Seriously, I'm I'm a fucking living example of ups and downs. So, again, this guy goes, "Who would want to like wish harm on someone else?" Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh shit, I just did that whole Stevie Lou thing and Anthony Cumia. I should probably act like that was a joke." Yeah. Oh, good joke. Good stuff, John. Yeah, I go up, I go down. The beer can goes up, and <laughs> the, beer the beer can goes, goes down. down. I act yeah. like I'm down, Z. <laughs> that might be the first time he's ever admitted having any downs. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's a good point. You're right. It's always, uh, oh. he's always killing it. He might have been, he might have got a diagnosis where he's just like, oh, shit, everybody's going to be saying it's karma now that I have. That's very possible. Oh, some no. heart he definitely failure. has heart issues, yes. He did a few years ago say, I'm constantly on the upswing. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right. So this is insane because so Michael P got him reeling about autism because they're explaining. John's been doing this thing where he's saying Vince the Loser's on the spectrum and he calls him Downsy. And so the chat's and they're going, you're just calling him an R word without calling him an R word. You do realize that, right? And uh, so then John's going, well, hold on a second, guys. I was born with OCD and a stutter. He oh, literally thinks God. this. He literally thinks he was born with a stutter, which is not how that works. <laughs> and OCD also is not something you're born with. It's not like being having Down syndrome. Very fucking different thing. <laughs> But uh, but to to came stuttering out, come, came stuttering right out of his mom's box. Yeah. Is what he said. Congratulations, Mrs. Melendez. <laughs> okay, so this is John explaining how he was able able to overcome those ailments even before Stern. Hey, I was the fucking, I was the dude in high school. I was the dude. People were fucking writing my band name on the desks. On the fucking wall, stiff minister. We had T-shirts. Students walking around with our T-shirts. I'm guessing he was the one writing the name of the band on the desk and wearing the T-shirts. And the band was probably wearing their T-shirts. I wrote my band's name on my desk. Yeah, right. I love that this guy, in his mind, he was a rock star in high school, and everyone in his school was a huge fan of his. I was doing merch before any of you assholes. That's what everyone does. You kidding me? He invented merch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, our band was the shit. Stuttering John was the shit. I believe part of that. Yeah, get rid of the word the. Our <laughs> yeah, band was shit. Yeah. Stuttering John was shit. Yes. <laughs> Very likely. If his band was this big of a deal in the area, yeah. he at least would have had a recording of it at some point. 
Like, That's a good point. He would have heard this. Yes, there should be a cassette tape somewhere. Stuttering John music special. Let's go. <laughs> the Stiff Minister demo. <laughs> and now with the technology they have, they can put that shit in and multi-track it and take mm. all the hiss and make it sound. I want to hear the song. Take his solos playing. out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take his fucking shitty solos out. <laughs> I want to hear these songs. All right, so this gets a little bit crazy because now someone's saying, hey, just so you know, like you're calling Vince the loser you know, a downsy, and my niece has Down syndrome. So it's you know kind of offensive. And John's got a <laughs> rebuke to that. John's ready with can. Niece has Downs. Offends me when you call Vince the lawyer downsy. Oh, first of all, your niece doesn't have Downs. In fact... Uh, Downs is, I, I, I think they could detect Downs in in children in like the first trimester and most parents abort. So no, you don't. <laughs> Jesus. What? I don't know how to deal with that. He said 14 terrible things in five words. <laughs> right. He's like, first off, you're a liar because anyone who has Down syndrome, like your niece, should have been aborted. <laughs> I'm not telling a woman what to do with her body. But... No, definitely not. I don't mean any disrespect. I just want to point this out. People with Down syndrome are much happier than the rest of us. Yeah, they, they live yeah. very good lives. And a lot of parents decide to go ahead and go through with the... Uh, Pregnancy and yeah. birth because they love their kid. <laughs> the ups and downs of it. <laughs> but according, not according to John. According no. to John, the doctor's like, yeah, we got to get this fucking thing out of you right now. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of want to. We're getting it out right now. No choice in the matter. Yeah, that's when he doesn't stutter. <laughs> it's insane. All right. A scumbag. He's a scumbag. He's not a great guy. All right, so now we're going to talk about uh, Vegas and Hackamania and uh, what's going to happen there. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Oh, good. <laughs> so when I go to Vegas, Fatty Patty. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you now. Okay. Patrick Melton. Yep. This is Stuttering John. Yes. And I'm talking directly to you. Mm, you say of. so. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Not really. Stop talking about Kate Meany. Stop talking about her mom. Stop talking about her? That's a warning. <laughs> John, this is Patrick Melton speaking. I just want to say. <laughs> so, this is fucking stupid. It See, is. this is the performative John yeah. where he knows what he's doing, kind of, a well, little bit. He forgot to put his white knight helmet right. on. Right. He's, he's white knighting for Kate Meany, but at the same time, ensuring that Patrick Melton's going to keep talking shit about Kate Meany and, and her mom. I support that. Right, which is fine. It, it's fine. But this whole thing now where John acts like he's going to Vegas and he's serious. You got to meet my demands because if not, <laughs> there's going to be some problems. But we'll talk about it at Hackamania. Yeah. Okay? You and I are going to talk about it. You remember last time I asked you to come outside? Maybe I'll catch you outside. Okay. Catch me outside. We'll see. Right in the middle of the strip. Just shut the fuck up about her and her mom. Okay? It's that simple. Well, what's up with her mom? Well, this goes on for a while. Well, her mom married a gay man, so there's that. <gasps> so that's kind of funny. <laughs> it happens. It happens from time to time. But this goes on for a while. He does the whole... So did my wife. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> this goes on for a while. And he does the whole thing. It's like, beat me up. I'm a man. Yeah, I can take it. We've heard it before. Not an innocent young girl. And I don't know if he's trying to get his dick wet. I'm sure he is. But he's also setting up Kate for a world of hurt, obviously. But this whole thing where he thinks, like, he asked him to go outside. We've, we've seen the video of him versus Patrick Melton. John scrappy do getting security involved because he's making a big scene. And Pat's just standing there just going, hey, man, what's up? What's going on? I believe we're both outside. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying the evening? <laughs> well, I got bad news for you guys. I don't think the venue for Hackamania is a MGM property. That's true. So all bets are off. Yeah, everyone will be there for this one. He also, John is so stupid. So someone mm -hmm. just goes, hey, just so you know, when you say I asked them to go outside – 
that's the fake tough guy equivalent of, of winning a fight. That's what fake tough guys do. Yeah. And he goes, no, it's not. I asked him to go outside because there's a lot of cameras in a casino. So I want to go outside, but there's no cameras. John, there's cameras outside of the casino as well. Do you really not know that? In Atlantic City and in Las Vegas, there's cameras everywhere all the time. <laughs> it's so stupid. We're going to Ocean's cameras. 11. <laughs> yeah, right. Watch Ocean's 11 <laughs> or 12 or 13. You'll see. I haven't seen most of those, but I assume I know what happened. <laughs> Probably. 10 is awesome. Stuttery John won a fight. That's what happened. Right. <laughs> yes. And all of them. It was very unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Those movies are extremely unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now he's going to fight everyone when he comes to Hackamania. Because I guess Tukey's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're a fucking coward. Like that asshole Tukey. That's the funniest thing he's ever said. Like that asshole Tukey. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to see Rocco in a ring with John, but just beating him with Tukey. <laughs> yeah, just smashing him in the face with Tukey. <laughs> with joke after joke after joke. Hey, Rocco Burrow. Yeah. Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. You. You're going to be out there too at Hackamania, aren't you? He is, yeah. Let's talk outside, eh? So this is his what? acting. This is performative John. Yeah. So now he's being tough guy John. And he breaks character. He's terrible at this. He's he's really bad at everything he tries to do. What do you say? It's only a five-hour drive me, but I got vouchers from Spirit. So I don't, I gotta, I'll fly out there for free. Hey, you just broke a little there, John. Can we uh, reshoot that one? Take two? I'm going to trade those vouchers in for gas. <laughs> and I'm going to drive five hours. And then yeah. they Venmo me. And Yeah, listen to this. I stay at, in Vegas for free. So I'll see you, Rocco. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, again, no one's afraid of you, John. Come to Hackamania. We don't care. So I love that this guy, even when he's trying to be a tough guy, can't stop himself from talking about what things cost yeah. because he has a poor person's mentality. He's like, just so you know, I don't have to pay for my transportation or lodging. Neither do we. We're doing a show. Yeah. It's not the first thing I brag about. Like, we're also going to Vegas for free and not paying for the lodging, but it's because we're performing. People are coming there to see us perform, John. So I don't know why yeah, this is it is a show. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what are you talking about? And thank you for the promotion, by the way. Yeah. Him and Kevin Brunnick can't stop promoting Hackamania. <laughs> I know I haven't done my fair share because we've been promoting WTB Live this uh, yeah. Friday, March 22nd. Hackamania, Suttering John's going to be there. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, that's all these assholes are talking about. People who hate us are just like, Hackamania, Hackamania, Hackamania. It's almost like the biggest hacks are promoting it. Yes, yeah. thank you. I think I'm getting ready to trade my ticket in from Florida to Vegas. See, this is the problem. This is what I was saying on the creep Not off. cool. Not, Not cool, Not to dude. talk about Hackamania. We have a big show coming up this Friday. Cardiff's going to be there. WATBlive.com, Carl. You can't watch the Yankees-Phillies game in no. Vegas. It's only can't. happening in Tampa on Saturday. That's true. That is true. I have Joey C. working on tickets for us. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Get the hook up over there. Major League Baseball's own Joey C. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is just a fun video to watch because John's nose starts running. Oh, no. And he forgot to put the giant roll of paper towel or the giant roll of toilet up his paper nose. or anything near him. He's going to use his shirt again. Well, he's learned not to do that. He's learned that he hasn't gotten laid. By the way. <laughs> he learned one thing. Again, on this video, he explains he hasn't gotten laid in eight months, which he's been saying for at least a year now. <laughs> like, that's, not how, not, that's how a dry spell works. It, it keeps increasing. But I so I think he's trying to not be so disgusting to some degree because I, I don't know, Lucy. I'll ask you. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you fuck a guy who you've seen wipe his nose on his t-shirt? <laughs> Very infrequently. <laughs> Very infrequently. Okay, that's what I say. Now that's, ask me. That's why I ask you. <laughs> Don't ask you anything, asshole. <laughs> so this is John's very runny nose. <laughs> Good friend owns thirty percent of Belmont Tavern. Can't wait. Hey Vince. Uh oh. Yeah, he's looking hey, around. You can press your luck. He's looking around. He's getting real runny. You here, ain't going to know. Here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> yeah, when it I is. Just pick up the cat. <laughs> <laughs> you will not know when I'm going to be there. All right. Now uh, he's getting Even up. if you did. <laughs> he's still tossed. He's got a tampon. Whoa. Look at the size of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Vince. Oh. If you ever been there, the table's very small. It, 
So you. There's always more <laughs> shit coming out of his nose. Always. <laughs> he never gets it all. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> and he looks like he reached down to the floor to pick up those paper towels. Yeah, there's a weird thing that's going on. We haven't talked about it in this show, but other people have talked about it. So he's so low to the ground, like his couch doesn't have legs on it. And some people <laughs> speculate in order to get into that tiny little door, they take the legs out, but he just never put it back on. Yeah. I don't know why. That makes sense. But he's very low to the ground. And the way that you know that is a couple of things. First off, when he looks up at his TV, he goes like this. Uh, <laughs> his TV is on the second floor. Oh, in a one story maybe he's in a hospital room. Apartment, yeah. <laughs> but then the other thing is when people come into his door, he's always looking over at him like this. Oh, hey, yeah, you got the thing? All right, cool. And yeah. So he's like very low to the ground for some reason. I'd say he's in a hobbit house, but he can't afford that. Dude. He'd be standing. He was going on. I don't have the clips because it's just so embarrassing. But he was going on and on about the Florida house. And he's talking about how he actually finally got a bed frame built for his room. So now he's he stayed there multiple times. Never had a bed frame. Now he does. Okay. And then he says he had people over because whoever set up the couch in his living room has the couch facing the kitchen instead of the TV. Which, by the way, there isn't a TV. But he's going to get one from Best Buy. This is what he said. He goes, but there will be a TV. I'm going to get it from Best Buy. I was like, pretty cool. <laughs> And then he goes, now, now all I need, now all he has to do is buy bedroom sets for the other two bedrooms, correct, and a pool table. <laughs> what color felt? Well, it better be purple. So then he goes, um, so I'm going to get a pool table, and I'm going to get a bed, so that way, when my friends come over, like Leo Gunn or Joey C, I'm like, wait, your friends are Joey C again? What's I going sleep on? on the pool table. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these